Hey, hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll be seeing one of the interview question which was asked in one of the MNC. Okay, so the question is that uh, this data frame is giving. Okay, and you can see that with the output is look like this. Like we have we generated new two new columns like new underscore call and new underscore call one. And here is the output. So if you compare with these, right? So what does it mean is that see in this input string we have like alphabet and then we have some numbers right so once a number and one number and then again we have some alphabets and then again we have some number so you can see over here is that uh, if we you know if you see this you no know, once a number is ended this makes one group of or we can say one column and then Another column will be start from the next to the numbers. So let's say quote 12 is the second column. And here if you can see like quote 5674. So till 74, right? So till 74, we have the value in the first column. And then from OTUT1, it is from it, it is in the second column. Right. Likewise, if if I see this, right, so till 4. Is in the first column and then uvi is in the second column okay and this is the data set i have prepared for you okay you can use it i will uh, I, I will share this data set in the description box and to solve this problem maybe you can use a regular expression of python you can create some urea functions and all okay apart from this we have a predefined function in pi spark that is regex underscore strap so first understand what does it mean you know like regex underscore extract extract a specific group matched by a java regex from the specified string column if the regex did not match or the specified group did not match an empty string is returned so basically this is the function name cool and it has three parameters one is str pattern and idx that is called index so str means the column which we are going to you know uh, which we, which we are going to extract or which we are going to work with pattern is what pattern you wanna you know apply in this or you know what kind of data you want to extract from it and that index means part of the match we need to extract from the group of match like one two and so on cool now if i do try to write the code so first let me just do a df dot show so that you will also see that we have the data or not okay this is the data cool now what i'll do i'll try to write pi spark dot sql functions import uh regex extract cool and i will first select all the columns and here i will use with column to add a new column right here i will let's say write new call you know and here here i will call this function regex p underscore extract okay i am calling this function so for which first parameter would be my column name so my column name is what df dot input underscore string cool so i'll just put it this over here okay second column would be my pattern so what is my pattern my pattern is that the string should start from the alphabets okay so what i can do i can write like this a oh not like this like this now it is a small letter maybe you know the numbers or i mean not number the alphabets or character comes in a in a capital letter right it can also be the case so i will put here a capital a capital z also and this can be multiple right so i will use a star if it is a single character then you can use this plus operator but i can use here a star and then it should start from this alphabets only right so i will use here this cap okay and after that also i need some number right so here inside this bracket only what I can do, I can pass some uh, number wala pattern. So what, what I mean to say here, I can use 0, 0 to 9. Okay. And this can also be repeated. Like, you know, this can be 1 to 1, 1 to 3 and so on. And okay. 
and the last parameter is index so i am saying first index and let me just do a show so that i will show you see perfectly right it is correct we have this one two then we have ut1 sorry we have till four value and then we have till here also four right so this is the first group what happens if i use here two we'll see it returns two five six seven four it returns only number so second group it returns okay so i only want to have a first group correct so i put it now again i have to extract the things from here right i have to extract the things from here so what will be my formula you can stop this video and think about it how can i extract the second value okay now let me show you so i'll just copy the same thing put it over here show this should be call one and df dot this this is one group okay after that what i can say after that what i can say again i can say this a small z capital d capital z capital a to capital z then star right and again 0 to 9 star dollar and instead i will use here 2 now i can see here 1 and 2 1 just a minute this is this and this will come and over here right this is star this can be repeated new call one it is coming only 12 it is coming only a b z this is not coming right quite one two is not coming quiet one two is not coming now what can be the issue is a capital z right after that i want let me make it one we'll see what is the output now the output is same because it is taking now the issue is is the issue is in is this here something went wrong over here so i need to fix it okay this packet goes and now let me make it two now you can see we have the correct output right so now I have put actually one basis which, which means it is going into a second group or second index that's why it is it was not showing a correct answer. Now you can see that you know once I created this then you can see that it is showing us a correct answer. Now the task was to only show these two right either you can drop these two columns or either you can select only these two columns so I'll go with with the drop statement so drop function I, I mean to say so I can use these two columns over here comma comma right no like this id that's that is not needed and just put a show now you can see we got the correct output which is matching with this okay so i hope that you have understood this concept maybe you can solve this via spark uh, sql also and you know using udf functions and all and the same problem can also be asked via sql uh, server questions also you know when in, in the first round people used to ask a sql related question so you can also practice the same thing uh, practice the same data set using sql so so that you know you will be good 
in these two PySpark and SQL both uh, languages. So I hope that you have understood. And uh, this is my uh, course which I have recently launched on my web website that is Databricks PySpark real time scenarios and interview question series. Okay, so there will be around 15 to 20 or more than 20 questions related to, you know, real time scenarios and interview based kind of questions. And till now I have uploaded around, you know, I guess eight to nine questions I have uploaded. You can see that the I have uploaded this uh, interview question one, interview question two, then these two questions I'm going to add it soon. And then I also uploaded this kind of, you know, framework you can see whether you know well while we read a csv or txt file we have a multiple separators over there and the separators are not fixed so how we can handle that and then we have the when then we have these topics like how to how we can optimize a PySpark udf why should we write a udf why should when we should not write the udf right those kind of things i have covered and then solve the questions using broadcast variable this is not a, just a simple a simple concept of broadcast i have given you some data set and you have to define you have to think whether you have to use broadcast variable over there or not likewise you know how to increment load and full load in you know a spark sql then real time scenario question on cache and persist then we have this python and PySpark framework so i have created one framework to read the data from multiple sources and write it into data lake or delta lake then we have problem solving questions this question this question this video i have you know uh, uploaded uh, last day only yesterday i mean okay so meanwhile you know i can i mean i meant to say likewise i will upload more videos in this series i hope that you if you like this concept these kind of you know real time scenarios you can take this course this is just for you know like the fee of the course is very minimal so you can afford it definitely okay and i am sure that you if you solve these you know these many uh, questions definitely like 90 to 80 percent questions will be will come from this this uh, series only so make sure to take this course and so that you will learn something new and something unique chalo thank you bye bye